So what we'll do is that we'll pick up one game and we'll see the concept of the strictly dominant strategy. So there are two players, let's say, player one and player two. And player one has two choices, either to trust or to cheat. Player two also has two choices, either to trust or to cheat. And you are also given with the payoffs. Payoffs are 5-5-1-1-10. Five, five, ones, one, ten. Ten, one, two, two. Right. So what do you mean by a strictly dominant strategy? Strictly dominant strategy is one in which you say that whatever other player is doing, I will be following this particular strategy only. So for example, I am player one and you guys are player two. And so whether you trust or you cheat, I will always cheat. So in that case, cheat is going to become my dominant strategy. Or if you guys are player two, I am player one. So regardless of I, I playing trust or cheat, you will always cheat. So cheat becomes your dominant strategy. So how do you answer this? So you will see like this. So if player two is playing trust, what is player one going to do? So in your answer, you will be writing like this. Uh, if player 2 chooses trust player 1 chooses cheat you guys can see that so if player 2 has chosen trust so what is best for player 1 to trust or to cheat? To cheat because by, by cheating, his payoff is more as compared to trusting. Right? Uh, so he will, be he, he will be cheating. If player 2 chooses cheat. Right? So then player 1 is going to compare payoff of 2 and 1. So he will pick up payoff of 2. That is, he will be choosing cheat, player 1, chooses cheat, right. So regardless of what player 2 is doing, player 1 is always choosing cheat. Uh, so just write that, regardless of whether player 2 chooses trust or cheat player 1 always chooses cheat player 1 always chooses cheat right similarly for player 2 also so player 2 is also so whether player 1 chooses trust so he will be comparing 5 and 10 he will choose cheat or player 1 choosing cheat he will be comparing 1 and 2 so he will choose cheat so player 2 is also going to choose cheat similarly Player 2 also always chooses cheat, right? So cheat becomes the dominant action or a strictly dominant strategy for player 1 as well as cheat also becomes the strictly dominant action for player 2, right? So, player 1 is also going to cheat, player 2 is also going to cheat. So, this becomes your first equilibrium concept that is cheat cheat is a dominant strategy equilibrium. Dominant strategy equilibrium. Right. So, beta, there are how many pair? How many players? There are two players. Right. 
so player i you can see for example for player i equals to 1 player 1 is always choosing cheat what is the strategy profile of player 1 to cheat or to trust right what is the dominant strategy of player one? Small s1. Small s1, right? Capital S1 is the strategy set. Small s1 is the, uh, your, uh, your uh, uh, strategy for player one, right? That strategy which he is choosing, right? So, but I will be, I will be choosing cheat uh, and you are also choosing cheat. So, my strategy is s1 your strategy is small s2 right so my strategy is that i am choosing cheat your strategy is that you are also choosing cheat but i will be writing s2 as s minus one like this so i am just telling you the way how do you write the formal definition for this right so how do we write this a strategy a strategy small si belonging to capital si is a strictly dominant strategy is a strictly dominant strategy for player i तो स्ट्रेटजी सेट में से मेरी वो स्ट्रेटजी व्हिच आई एम चूजिंग सो माय स्ट्रेटजी सेट इज व्हाट ट्रस्ट एंड चीट व्हाट इज द स्ट्रेटजी व्हिच आई एम चूजिंग चीट इज अ स्ट्रिक्टली डोमिनेंट स्ट्रेटजी फॉर प्लेयर आई इफ फॉर ऑल स्मॉल एसआई कर्ल नॉट इक्वल टू स्मॉल एसआई स्मॉल एसआई कर्ल इज अनदर स्ट्रेटजी which is apart from SI. So, small small SI is what? Cheat. Small SI curl is what? Trust. For all small SI curl not equal to small SI. If the utility which I am going to get by playing small SI, given that you are playing small S minus I, minus I means strategy of an opponent is strictly greater than my utility if i place some other strategy which is not the dominant strategy for me and you are playing small s minus i so minus i is the uh, is the strategy is the strategy of the opponent right uh, so this becomes the dominant strategy equilibrium this becomes the dominant strategy equilibrium and the point is that if this kind of strategy is going to exist so I am also cheating. You are also cheating. And if the if the dominant action is going to exist, then you can expect that the player is going to play that action. He, he is a rational player, right? So that is also uh, the consequence of uh, a player's rationality, right? So if such a strategy is going to exist, yes, player is going to play the dominant strategy, right? Or a strictly dominant strategy. You guys are with me? Huh? So I hope this was useful to you. Thank you, Vita.